Top 10 Greatest Conquerors in History Maybe the descriptive word most prominent is something of empty acclaim for the men on this rundown. All things considered, the main quality of winners is the capacity to kill others and take their stuff, moreover. Maybe the descriptive word most prominent is something of empty acclaim for the men on this rundown. All things considered, the main quality of winners is the capacity to kill others and take their stuff, besides, persuading individuals under you to kill individuals and take their stuff. Generally, these men were incredible tacticians, with differing levels of keenness. In certain trains of rationale, the blood of every one of the people who passed on directly following their armed forces is totally on their hands. Some way or another, that thought didn't prevent them from eating up the place that is known for their adversaries as their domains extended. Every one of the men on these rundowns has impacted mankind's set of experiences. In one sense, these are the most persuasive individuals ever, truly impact. Multi-mainland war, slaughter, passing, and obliteration are a portion of the instruments of their impact, their heritage. History will constantly recollect them as war hawks, no matter what. Honestly, the every man passes judgment on these men not on precisely the number of they that killed or the amount they vanquished, yet all the same their thought process. For this rundown, we measure their significance as champions by how many square miles they prevailed. The vast majority could not likely figure the number one winner, not to mention consider him abhorred. Ongoing history is in every case more appropriate to our lives, regardless of whether it is similarly pretty much as gone for good as history from millennia prior. Adolf Hitler graces, or contaminates, rather, this rundown, and is effectively the most detested tyrant ever, however, he's nowhere near the most compelling. He did, all things considered, endure ostensibly the best defeat of any on this rundown. Number 10, George W. Bush, 423,424 square miles. Number 10 on the rundown is very new in the brain of history. During George W. Shrubbery's eight-year, two-term administration of the USA, the battle on dread was pursued on genuine land, paying little heed to how transient of a title it proposed. In counter to the September 11th assaults on American soil, the first of its sort since Pearl Harbor, the American military assembled as a group to remove Saddam Hussein from power in Iraq. However the connection of him to atomic weaponry or the 9-11 assaults was shaky, best case scenario. Despite the fact that the removal of Hussein was an aid, the conflict seethed through the country before he was at any point found. From that point, the conflict spread across the center east with an end goal to destroy psychological oppressor cells and kill Taliban and Al-Qaeda existences. It's been almost a long time since the conflict on fear, or all the more precisely. The conflict in the Center East, started, and it's become a remarkable mess throughout that time. Unquestionably, such a lot of ground has been covered during the intrusions that George Hedge lands at 10 as quite possibly of the best vanquisher ever. Number 9, Francisco Pizarro, 480,000 square miles. This Spanish conqueror resided from 1471 to 1541, and was the head of a few undertakings to South America, where he would proceed to overcome various pieces of the land mass, broadly vanquishing a significant part of the Incan realm. Pizarro was motivated to vanquish South America, alongside other Spanish pioneers, by the achievements of Hernán Cortés endeavors, including the immense fortunes he obtained. Pizarro first fruitlessly gone after the western shore of South America. However on his third endeavor he arrived in what is presently Ecuador, and headed to the Incan capital of Tumbes, just to find it demolished by Incan nationwide conflict. He and the Inn serendipitously ran over the ill-equipped Incan sovereign Atahualpa and caught him, after he had crushed his sibling in the Incan nationwide conflict. The ruler would later be executed, and Pizarro essentially crushed the whole country with just ponies and 160 mechanically progressed, at that point, officers. He later had four kids with two Incan princesses, 
and had vanquished what is cutting us Peru. He's recollected in Peru as a kind of confounding figure, as he generally impacted the country but on the other hand was verifiably a fierce vanquisher. Number 8, Mahmud of Ghazni, 680,000 square miles. Mahmud of Ghazni lived from 971 to 1030 AD, was the principal ruler ever, and is credited as the organizer behind the Ghats Navid realm. King had come to imply that he was the leader of an extraordinary span of land that covered a large part of the Sindar East. In what is presently Iran, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and some of India, alongside various more modest nations. His triumphs are generally credited to the utilization of very strong women riding a horse. Utilizing compound bows on ponies to speed across the war zone and kill from the significant stretch. Mahmud is conceivably perhaps of the best vanquisher on this rundown, for notwithstanding his successes he prized learning. Routinely presented the honor to insightful and very much read men, and made colleges and mosques across the center of East and Asia. However a lot of his wartime strategies included the passing of unbelievers or every one of the individuals who didn't trust the faction of Muslims that he did. He frequently endured strict gatherings since they didn't represent a tactical danger to him. The Mahmud of Ghazni is without a doubt a vanquisher that squeezes more into the hazy situations of tyranny. As he in numerous ways showed a calm and learned demeanor while administering his realm. Number 7, 7 Napoleon Bonaparte, 720,000 square miles. One of the more well-known champions ever. Napoleon was a splendid tactician and war general who immediately rose to the highest point of the tactical school he was brought up in. In addition to the fact that he carried France military significance and rose to emperorship for quite some time from 1804 to 1814. He likewise made the change that annulled feudalism and permitted far and wide strict lenience. He likewise made a legitimate code for his kin called the Napoleonic Code which filled in as a significant impact on creation and change of regulation around the world. Napoleon drove the French armed force to vanquish the majority of mainland Europe. His main goof was attacking Russia which would ultimately prompt his defeat and exile before his possible passing on the island of Alba. Undoubtedly he is the best winner on this rundown as he upheld a considerable lot of the French progressive thoughts that assisted shape a lot of majority rule government. As we with knowing it today. Number 6, Adolf Hitler, 1,370,000 square miles. Adolf Hitler doesn't require a lot of presentation, on the off chance that you're somebody who approaches the web. You doubtlessly know the terrible history of one Adolf Hitler whose very name ingrains contemplations of scorn, fanaticism, savagery, and demise. He may just be number 6 on this rundown, however, he is effectively the most detested champion in the present perspective. The financial destruction of Germany after the Second Great War is frequently credited to be the reason for the Second Great War as it permitted the Nazi party to ascend in power just by giving food and occupations to the German public. However, the driving force, the unchallenged pioneer who made the hub that started World War II, was Hitler. Figures shift as the full extent of the conflict was almost difficult to find out, with occasions like Japanese slaughters in China being difficult to generally evaluate. Yet it is by and large acknowledged that more than 55 million individuals kicked the bucket in the Second Great War. In numerous ways, it sunk can lie at the feet of Hitler himself. Hitler's requests for cleansing of race and worldwide control through war probably won't be unique. Yet the extent to which they were executed remaining parts the most over-the-top frightening time frames in mankind's set of experiences. Of the 55 million, north of 29 million were non-military personnel passing, outstandingly the 6 million Jews and other racially sullied individuals killed by Hitler's decimation. We might dare to dream that this is the most obscure stain in mankind's set of experiences and will one day be taken a gander at as a far-off history illustration. 
Number 5, Attila the Hun, 1,450,000 square miles. Attila the Hun, otherwise called Flagellum Day, or Scourge of God is perhaps the best brute champion in all of history. The Scourge of God title was given to him on account of the widespread obliteration he descended upon the Roman realm. He drove the Huns, an Eastern European brute clan, to overcome quite a bit of Eastern and focal Europe. His introduction to the world date is obscure, yet he ruled between 434 to 453 AD, where he controlled a realm from Italy to Germany, Russia, Poland, and southeastern Europe. While he always was unable to effectively overcome Persia and Constantinople, he more than once attacked the Roman domain, and was famous for the decimation and ravaging he left following his brute crowds. Attila ruled Europe during his rule until the Visigoths and the Romans combined efforts to overcome the champion. He kicked the bucket in 453 AD, and with no settled request to follow him, the brute realm disintegrated before long. Number 4, Cyrus the Great, 2,090,000 square miles. Frequently depicted as the pioneer behind the Persian domain, Cyrus the Extraordinary ruled from 559 to 530 BC. Persia was initially a state inside the domain of Medes until Cyrus freed Persia, began an insurgency and took the middle capital of Ecbatana, and broadcasted himself, as ruler. His Persian domain was monstrous, as he vanquished from India to the center east, northern Africa, and into Greece. His victories prompted the Persian domain as being one of the biggest and most generally compelling realms in written history. Dissimilar to Attila, Cyrus made a political foundation under him that moved the Persian domain along lengthy after his demise. And his endeavors as a hero lead to the spread of the center eastern way of thinking, writing, culture, and religion across Europe and Asia. Persia stayed in the presence for quite a long time and is frequently credited with the spread of Islam and the Islamic brilliant age. Number 3, Tamerlane, 2,145,000 square miles. Timur, Tarmashirin Khan, or all the more usually referred to in history as Tamerlane, is the second most noteworthy Asian champion who established the Timurid line. A figure of Islamic confidence, he frequently referred to himself as the Blade of Islam and utilized a strict manner of speaking and goals to reproduce Genghis Khan's domain as a thought process to drive his multicultural armed force all over Asia, Africa, and Europe. Unquestionably, his immense fields of military triumph are assessed to have caused 17 million passings during his rule from 1370 to 1405. That is additionally remembered to be around 5% of the number of inhabitants on the planet around then. So it may not shock you to realize that Tamerlane is referred to most conspicuously as a tactical figure. And for his fierce victories across the world, as opposed to his Muslim impacts and his adoration for craftsmanship and engineering. Given his strict inspirations, however, his reality and the resulting realm is the primary justification for why Christianity was generally erased from Asia and on the other hand why the Muslim social world thrived. Number 2, Alexander the Great, 2,180,000 square miles. Effectively one of the best heroes in Western history, Alexander the Extraordinary made a domain so huge for its time it is faltering. He succeeded his dad, Philip II, when he was 20 years of age, having been prepared in fighting and guided by Aristotle. He assumed control over the Macedonian domain and endlessly spread from Greece toward the east. He crushed the Persians, vanquished Egypt, and tore through Asia Minor the entire way to India where he at long last halted his victory at the command of his troopers. His impact spread across the world, making around 20 urban communities named after him, the most popular being Alexandria in Egypt. His realm additionally made exchange between the East and the West, however that was something of a potentially negative result, generally talking. He likewise enormously impacted Rome and Roman reasoning in the military, as Romans frequently sought Alexander and his strategies for military information. 
His tactical splendor was brought to the point that tactical foundations all over the planet show strategies he made right up to the present day. After his passing in 323 BC, his realm split into various parts, as regions and rulers quarreled about freedoms to run the show. Notwithstanding the fall of the Macedonian realm, his effect on the world would significantly redirect mankind's set of experiences. Number 1, Genghis Khan, 4,860,000 square miles. Undoubtedly, the best victor ever, who vanquished over two times the area of land that Alexander, the incomparable did, is in many cases perhaps of the most failed remembered vanquishers in the personalities of individuals of the Western world. Genghis Khan, original name of Timujin, is frequently diminished to a personification, a silly thought of a major primitive Mongol who threatens towns. All things considered, he positively threatened a lot of towns over his lifetime. He was brought into the world in 1162 in Mongolia and made his realm initial by bringing together traveling clans of Upper East Asia into one armed force. Where he would clear across Asia and Western Europe with phenomenal speed and proficiency. He vanquished what is almost the sum of current China, as well as gushing out over into Russia, Turkey, a large portion of the Persian center east, and almost in the middle between, except for India. The extent of his triumphs is colossal to the point that it appears to be almost outside the realm of possibilities for anybody at that point. With just the speed of horseback to have made such a monstrous domain as that of the Mongol domain. However, he is frequently credited with making the brought together idea of the Silk Street from Asia to Europe. Which is about the degree of the positive portrayals of Genghis Khan, as he is answerable for the passings and triumph of endless people groups across the well-explored regions of the planet. Anyway, he is recalled, since his demise in 1227 AD. He stays the single most noteworthy victor in mankind's set of experiences overwhelmingly.